you guys if this resonates please please like share subscribe leave your comments also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified when new readings come out all right you guys if you need a private reading click the link below and you can reach out my website waterandfiretarot.com all that information is there you can actually book your reading right on the web website now so you are all set also i'm on instant go water and fire tarot all right you guys if this one doesn't resonate also be sure to take a look at your moon your rising your venus signs and hopefully that one will connect if this one doesn't. All right. So this is collective and it's general. It will not resonate with everyone. I feel like I have to make that comment again. So I'm going to. Also, time is fluid. All right. This is January 15th through the 31st, 2019 for cancer. But everybody's energy is different. And I mentioned that. I know most people know that. But I like to mention it because every once in a while somebody asks. So there it is. Also, I have a potty mouth. If that offends you, go ahead and click off. All right, Cancer, let's see what's coming in. I want a 10 card Celtic spread for Cancer's love life. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, January 15th through January 31st, 2019. What can Cancer expect? What's coming their way in love? I'm going to use the Cosmic Tarot deck, you guys, for the spread. And then we will clarify to open this bad bitch of a reading. And I'm going to use the Fountain Tarot to do so. So here we go, Cancer. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. January 15th through the 31st, 2019. All right, let's lay it out, and then we're going to chat about it. Cancer, cancer, cancer. All right, you guys. Again, I hope everybody had a great holiday that celebrates the holidays, and the new year is treating you right. Treating you kind, Cancer. All right, let's take a look. I actually love this deck. It's beautiful. I love the illustrations on it. So mom here decided to, well, use it. All right, you guys, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the lover's card in reverse for the overall energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. Lovers in reverse. All right, we have a decision that somebody's not making, possibly a head over heart decision or a fallout, a disunion, could be a breakup the end of a partnership of some sort, or again, just a lack of making some type of decision. All right, let me take a look here and see what is going on. Cancer. All right, Cancer. So coming into the current moment, we have the Princess of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Energy, Page of Pentacles, and the Rider Waite, right? Traditional. So coming into the current moment right now, the Page of Pentacles, while it is communication, you might be waiting on communication, could be Earth Energy, doesn't have to be. But also the Page of Pentacles is about an investment, right? It sees the potential or the value in something, okay? There's still value here. Somebody still sees potential, possibly in a relationship. Again, could be waiting on communication as well. Some type of offer. The Page of Pentacles or the Princess of Pentacles in this deck is bringing some type of news gift, um, something like that, communication. Now, what's influencing that is the Hermit, so Major Arcana for Virgo, okay? So what's influencing or what's the challenge here, a lot of Virgo energy, Cancer, is that somebody might be a little bit withdrawn, secluded, going within, trying to figure out some answers, trying to research and get some type of enlightenment. The Hermit is all about wisdom and research, but could be withdrawn or isolated here, okay? Now, what's on your mind is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Major Arcana. So again, what's crowning or on your mind, Cancer, maybe you feel like things are stuck, things aren't going your way. The Wheel isn't turning in your way destiny and time may not be on your side is what you're feeling the wheel of fortune in reverse could be just those karmic lessons that we haven't learned and it's just not destined the change is not now and it's, it's just not moving in your favor now that's what's on your mind 
recent past, we have the Eight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. The Eight of Wands is, yes, it can be back and forth communication, arrows of love, that kind of thing. But if you look at it in this deck, those arrows are flying. The Eight of Wands, Wands are all about movement and action. A lot of times the Eight of Wands can be indicative of release or change, big changes and, and a lot of release. There could have been some news that came in as well. So we'll clarify. Why everything's happening is the Seven of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy, air, mental energy. But the Seven of Swords, you know, it can mean a lot of things here. It is in the foundation, which isn't great, right? If you see her back is turned, a lot of the times the Seven of Swords, yes, it can mean deceit, cheating, lying, somebody trying to get away with something. You have the moon and you see that the clouds are kind of covering the moon. So I feel like there's some kind of things that are hidden. But also in this deck, you notice her back is turned. So the seven of swords can um, indicate somebody is leaving a situation, turning their back, walking away, right? Avoiding something. Okay, but again, if it's not a younger earth sign, again, a lot of Virgo, then this is all happening, and because of it coming in right now, though, somebody still sees potential or wants communication, but I feel like what's on your mind is that things just may not change or go in your favor, okay? Now, coming in, what you're going to experience is the Three of Wands, so fire, Leah Sedge, Aries, so <clears throat> the Three of Wands can be manifestation, it's exploration, Right. It also can be, you know, waiting for your ships to come in, but harvesting in a new direction. It's a three. So it's kind of at the beginning, manifesting, going out there and exploring. OK. Communicating with others as well. Just waiting for your ships to come in. Now, how you see yourself right now is the high priestess, major Connor for Pisces. In this deck, especially too. look at all the water around her, like highly, highly intuitive is the high priestess, which we know cancer is, right? You guys really hone in on your intuition. It, there's a lot of emotion there. The high priestess can be a secret keeper. She's kind of not revealing here. She's not revealing what's under the mask, right? But I believe in this reading and in this particular deck, the high priestess is more about her intuition. There's a lot of water in that card. The sun is starting to peek out. And so again, she's really honing in on her intuition. And it has something to do with somebody left or was sneaky or deceptive. I don't know. Intuitively, I don't really feel a lot of deception. I feel like this is more avoidance and kind of turning your back. Somebody's almost like, I feel like somebody's walking away or avoiding something. And you guys are really honing in on what that is. Okay, now what you don't see, so outside influences coming in that you don't see is this King of Wands. Some of you have a fire sign coming in, Leo, Sag, Aries. The King of Wands, it's in the upright. So, I mean, look at this King of Wands. Like, he is determined. He is going to get what he wants from you, Cancer. I'm just saying, look at his eyes, okay? A little bit shifty. He's got the wand, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But I think this King of Wands could have his way with just about anybody if he wanted to. It's passion. It's taking action, going after what you want. There is manifestation coming in. I do believe a lot of y'all have something new coming in here with this Three of Wands and the King of Wands. We're going to clarify and see what's going on. All right. Now your hopes or fears is the Emperor. Major Arcana for Aries. The Emperor can be a father, an authority figure, somebody older, but also to the energy of the emperor when it's in your hopes or fears is to take back control, right? Of your love life, stand in your power, a boss up cancer boss, uh, set some boundaries. Okay. Especially with that King of Wands, you're going to want to do that because well, as I pointed out, he looks like he may not take no for an answer. I'm just saying, and he's got a lot of passion. All right. Most likely outcome is the four of Pentacles in reverse Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy. <clears throat> this could be letting go of something. Again, remember we have a lot of earth and Virgo energy here, holding on to something that you were holding on to. You're now letting go. You're not holding on so tightly to whatever that person or thing was. <clears throat> the four pentacles can also talk about opening up too, like somebody not being so stubborn, not being so guarded and opening up. So I'm getting a lot of this cancer is release, moving on. Somebody's avoiding. Okay. And somebody is, you know, being very careful and responsible coming into that current moment with that princess of pentacles. Okay. It's value. It's worth. Um, with a hermit energy, somebody's gone within here, and I think could be a little bit isolated, just figuring out how to move forward, and because of that, you will, three of wands, that's all again, it's all about your ships coming in and manifesting, right now, again, kind of feeling like things aren't going away, with that wheel of fortune in reverse, 
and having to turn your back on something or a someone. You guys are highly intuitive right now with that high priestess. Also, too, maybe kind of keeping things under the veil, not revealing all of your intentions right now, right? Because we've got that hermit, we've got the high priestess, both very, very spiritual energy, okay? May not have decided quite what to do yet without lovers in reverse, not making a decision or a choice, or just having a fallout. All right, so let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading for cancer. We're going to use the fountain tarot and see what's going on. We're going to open up the reading. Here we go. Cancer, January 15th through January 31st, 2019. What can cancer expect in love? Give us some additional advice and guidance for cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. I want love only. Love messages only for cancer. What is coming their way? January 15th through the 31st, 2019. All right, let's cut it and let's talk about it. Cancer, here we go. All right, let's take a, a look at that overall energy with the lovers in reverse and see what's going on. Again, Major Arcana for Gemini. Why is this lovers in reverse for the overall energy for Cancer? What do we need to know about the lovers card, please, for Cancer? And we have a temperance in reverse. Okay, so sign of Sagittarius, Major Arcana for Sag. We do have some fire here. Temperance in reverse. Somebody's just not willing to compromise, right? There's a lack of balance. Somebody might just be batshit crazy, too, with temperance in reverse. It has to do with the fallout here with the lovers in reverse, okay? So no balance. Not quite healed. And maybe just emotions are a little bit out of whack right now okay i also feel like though with the lovers in reverse and temperance in reverse for that overall energy there's just a lack of compromise here people aren't on the same page and there's just just disunion right now going on now the recent past we have the eight of wands okay so what's this eight of wands for cancer's recent past show me the eight of wands what is it the two of coins in reverse Okay, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Again, remember how mom here explained the Eight of Wands. It's not always about communication. It's about fast, rapid changes and also release. Something was released here, okay, with the two coins in reverse that's dropping something, okay? It's dropping a person, dropping a situation that was probably bringing a lot of burdens and perhaps imbalance, right? The, the situation just wasn't balanced, so it was dropped, Okay, it could have been through communication, but more so I'm feeling that Eight of Wands is just changes, and it probably happened pretty quickly. Coming in, we have this Prince S of Pentacles, more Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is value, right? It's also self-value. It's, it's being responsible. It's being careful, okay? But somebody still here wants to either communicate or sees potential. Um, why is this Prince S of Pentacles coming in right now for Cancer? What's this about? We have the five of wands in reverse. See, I told you, more fire. Somebody in the situation wants to drop a conflict, okay, and possibly communicate. Doesn't have to be an earth sign. Could be, could be younger than you. All that good stuff. But bottom line, coming in right now, we've got somebody that still sees potential here, wants to drop the conflict. Now, the challenge or what's influencing this is hermit energy, sign of Virgo. What's this hermit about for cancer? The world. See, somebody's going within, okay? Could be at a distance from somebody with the world energy, but major arcana, big changes. Look how big that world is, Cancer, okay? Somebody's going within and really seeking some type of spiritual guidance, either from others or just from within, okay? And there's a big cycle changing here. There's an ending with the world energy, okay? That's what's influencing all of this. Also, too, I feel like somebody wants to open up a new cycle and drop the conflict. All right. Now, what's on your mind, Cancer, is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Not quite learning karmic lessons, perhaps. Also, it's just feeling like things aren't going your way, right? Things are stuck, and they're just not changing right now. Why is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? The Two of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I normally think of this Libra and energy, but it's air. Two of Swords, especially in this deck, it's not, sometimes it can talk about ignoring someone or blocking, rejecting, not so much in this deck. This is more about being indecisive, right? It's trying to make a decision, take off the blindfold and see things for how they are, right? Because things just are not moving in your favor, but I do feel that there's just this sense of not really knowing what kind of move to make, you know, even though your intuition, High Priestess, is telling you, you may not be kind of listening 
into that right now. Now, the situation is the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Cancer? What's this about? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The King of Wands in reverse. A lot of Leo Sag, Aries energy. King of Wands, whether it's female or male. Okay, they're in reverse on top of that Seven of Swords. So this is somebody that's either lost the passion right? They're not taking action. They left. There's a lot of avoidance here, but also I don't love the King of Wands in reverse on top of that Seven of Swords, okay? Somebody was up to no good, right? I'm telling you. And with the King of Wands in reverse, this is somebody that is a little bit of a switcher, could be deceitful in some way, trying to get away with something, okay? But either you or the other person still wants to kind of clear the air and, and still see some value here. Coming in, you're going to experience the Three of Wands, Cancer. Why is this Three of Wands coming in for Cancer? We have Justice. See, what did I just say somebody wants to fix something? Major Arcana for Libra, okay? Justice is about balancing out a situation. Ships coming in, manifesting, okay? Somebody wants to right the wrong with justice, balance it out. It could be an apology. Some of you are married to this person, by the way. Justice can be uh, reconciliation or an apology, okay? There could be communication about that, manifestation. But you guys right now, Cancer, you're honing in on your intuition with this high priestess. Why is the high priestess here for Cancer? Listening to the intuition, the six of swords, yes, moving on, getting to those calmer waters, Cancer, you see yourself right now, it's coming to some type of resolution, um, it could have to do with secrets, but I'm feeling more intuitive, this is intuitive energy, you guys are really, really honing in on your spirituality, moving on to calmer waters, now what you don't see coming in is this king of wands, Who's this King of Wands coming in for Cancer, please? Leo Sag Aries, usually a Leo, doesn't have to be. King of Swords in reverse, but uh-uh, be careful. King of Swords in reverse. So this person that's coming in, they're trying to make it right. They're King of Swords in reverse. They're going to still be emotionally detached or not telling you the truth. I think that this King of Wands... And this King of Swords in reverse is probably the same person. We have a King of Swords and a King of Wands in reverse, okay? King of Swords in reverse is just very, very icy, detached, may not be telling the truth. So just be careful of what you accept, Cancer. A lot of you guys have stuff coming in here, but I don't know that you're going to completely trust it, especially since you're that high priestess right now. Now, the most likely outcome is this Four of Pentacles in reverse. Why the Four of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer? Why is this four of pentacles in reverse for cancer? <clears throat> Six of coins. But you guys are going to receive balance. Okay? More earth energy. A lot of earth. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay? Let's give it another card on the Six of coins. So the Six of coins, again, Six is about balance. Could be this person opening up, wanting to balance out the situation. I'm going to give you as much as I receive now. It's going to be equal. No longer is it going to be one-sided, right? But let's take a look. Why is the Six of Coins here? The Two of Cups in reverse. Okay, so also what I was going to say here with that Four of Pentacles in reverse, I think a lot of you guys are just going to drop it because you're moving on to calmer waters. You're listening to your intuition when this person comes in because they're coming in in the reverse, Cancer. And you know what that means, okay? So I see the most likely outcome, you just drop in the situation, regaining balance in your life with that six of coins. And with the two of cups in reverse, it's just a fallout. Can't see eye to eye. Yeah, it might be a very, very strong connection, soulmate energy, especially with the lover's card. But there's just a fallout. People can't get along here. So you do have somebody coming in here, but I don't think you guys are going to fully trust it, all right? A lot of a fire energy, maybe an air sign. I think that King of Swords in reverse is just the quality that this fire sign, a.k.a. King of Wands, is probably bringing on. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, okay? could just be somebody with a lot of passion, has a lot of admirers, okay? Why is this Two of Cups in reverse for Cancer's outcome? And of the emperor, but you guys are going to take control of the situation. Again, I saw that because you move, you're moving on to calmer waters right now. Okay. The emperor, major kind for Aries. Look at the emperor in this deck. I rule, says cancer. Ha 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 ha. Hands up, bossing up, setting boundaries too, and taking control of the situation. Adios, king of swords in reverse. Adios, king of wands in reverse. Okay. So just be careful of what you guys accept. I think you guys are really smart and you're honing in on your intuition. You're not going to let anybody try to pull the wool over your eyes. 
I want to pull one more card. What's this Emperor energy? You guys might work with this person too, or this could be like somebody that's older. It doesn't have to be. But I think this is mainly Cancer bossing up and setting some boundaries. Why is this Emperor here in the outcome for Cancer? Seven of coins. A lot of Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Again, somebody still wants to invest here. I don't think it's you, Cancer. All right? I do. I do believe this person still wants to work on it, but they're not being completely truthful and honest with that king of swords in reverse and the king of wands in reverse but they are going to tell you that they want to invest also that seven of coins is all about reflecting on the past right i think you guys are going to be doing that too because you're really honing in on your intuition seven of coins it can talk about somebody still invested but in this outcome i really feel like a lot of that cancer is you guys reflecting on the past this is what i've put into it and I'm taking back my power with the Emperor energy, okay? What did I get out of this relationship or this investment? Let's pull an Oracle card for Cancer and see what's coming in. Show me Cancer. What do they need to know? Give us some additional advice for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in their love life from January 15th through January 31st. Give us an Oracle card for Cancer. What do they need to know? And we have a ton of abundance. All right. Heaven has provided so many blessings. Your family members are bonded and working together. The children are provided for and a comfortable retirement will one day come along. You've taught your family the grace that comes from knowing right from wrong. And you should be very proud. I love that for cancer. And it makes sense because you guys are so amazing with family, right? You're all about family. You're kind, you're warm, you're generous, right? Happy home, happy family, happy life for cancer. So you guys, that's what I have for you. I hope it hit home. I hope it. <laughs>